What's going on guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Thursday the 15th of September and my voice is a little bit croaky because I drank a lot on the weekend and I also have a bit of allergies right now so forgive my low manly voice. But anyways, what I wanted to show you guys is my new waist trainer that just arrived. So I'm gonna be unboxing it and showing you guys exactly what it looks like. So in my previous videos you would have seen, um, I always only wear the waist trainers by Slim Tom and the old one I used to wear is called the original figure former. I was a size zero in the original figure former, so I got down all the way to the smaller size. Um, however, it was like a little bit long for me, so it's sometimes a little bit uncomfortable because it sat like where my hip bone is and then it went all the way up here just because I am a very, very short person. I'm only five foot. So they came up with a new model and the size zero on the old one um, was actually equal to like a size three in um, the new waist. So um, that meant that I could keep going down in sizes, which is great because I pretty much outgrew like the original. So with this waist, um, at least I could still keep going down in sizes. So I started out with a size three. I've now outgrown it. So they sent me a size two and it's super cute. This is how it looks like. Comes in a little tube like that. And then you can open it. And then they have a little tape measure in there so you can like measure your waist. Super cute. And then you pull out the waist trainer which is secured with a hair tie. So you can also use this as a hair tie. So that's super cute. I love it. And yeah, I am now officially a size two. I am in my off season, so I'm really curious to see um, how much smaller I can get with these. So I'm just gonna put on and show you. So obviously, because it's a new one, I'm gonna start out at the third clip. And obviously the goal is to keep moving in as it helps me shape my waist up. I've been wearing slim time waist trainers for probably about a year now and people always ask me about waist trainers. I've only ever worn slim time and they've been amazing. So I do not recommend any other brands because I haven't worn it and I would never recommend something that I haven't personally worn before. As you can see, it's coming on like pretty easily. Very comfortable. I'm starting out like that. And it sits so nicely under clothes. I just love how it's not like big and chunky. And you literally just go to the gym like that. So if you want your own waist trainer, I'm going to link um, down below. Um, where you can get get it from. So obviously again, mine's from Slim Time. I also have a discount code. My discount code is Nicole Tan. So if you decide to buy this waist trainer, the original figure former, they also have two other ones. Um, if I get a set of like the new training one that they have, I forgot what the name is. I'll definitely do a review for you guys as well. But um, and all their stuff. So anything that you like from there, if you want it, use my code Nicole Tan for ten percent off and happy shopping. Just finished a leg workout and I just came home. I had a pretty good leg workout. I didn't think that I'd have a good workout because I woke up super, super hungry. But I just want to tell you guys, I've lived in Australia for like more than 10 years and today it's the first time I was driving to the gym and freaking kangaroo was just hopping across the road. It was a freaking experience. I obviously slammed on my brakes. It was pretty early in the morning so there was, I knew that there was not many cars behind me so I slammed on the brakes, let the kangaroo hop by. It's 
pretty crazy. Comment below if you're from Australia and have actually seen a kangaroo cross the road before. Like, I don't know if it's like a common thing. Like, it should, it, you would think it is, but it just hasn't happened to me. And like, my dad used to always tell me like, oh, if you ever see like a kangaroo crossing the road, like you have to go faster and hit it. And I was just like, what? No, I would never. But I guess it's pretty, it can be pretty dangerous, especially like in the outback when people were going like, pretty fast like pretty fast and um if you slam on the brakes then you could like injure other humans um so i guess it's better to go faster and then just make sure if you hit the kangaroo apparently like to kill it because you don't want it to be injured or whatever i don't know i'm just glad i did not have to deal with that shit today and i just slammed my brakes avoided it the kangaroo lived and we are all good in the hood anyways i'm gonna be taking you guys through a full day of eating today with me because i think oh, a lot of you like to see what i eat i'm currently on the reverse diet train we are aiming for 170 grams of carbs today it has not been enough <laughs> I am struggling, but yeah, so today you'll see me eat 170 grams of carbs for my reverse diet. Um, I'm going to have quite a big breakfast right now because um, it's my first meal of the day and my post-workout meal. So let's get cooking. Going to be having some English muffins today. I'm going to have two servings of this. A little bit of a feast. So I have in this English muffin, I obviously obviously you have English muffin. <laughs> and then I have like three pieces of ham, super lean, and then just egg whites. I cooked my egg whites with just salt and spring onion and then topped it with a bit of um, sugar-free ketchup and sriracha. And then for my second English muffin, I just have some Biscoff spread on it. And this is my first meal of the day. Just finished eating and I am still freaking hungry. So for that meal, it was 436 calories. Um, one English muffin is actually only 120 calories, 19 carbs and three fiber, which makes it 22 grams of carbs per English muffin. So it's not actually as bad as what some people may think it is. 120 calories is like super low. So that's why I could have two. So I had yet yeah, two English muffins, so that whole meal was 31 grams of protein, 51 carbs, 6 fiber, which makes it a total of 57 grams of carbs and only 10 grams of fat. So that's pretty much how my macro is split up. I would say this is like a close to perfect meal, maybe a little bit high on the carbs, but um, fat and protein, pretty perfect. Again, a little bit higher on the fats as well because I only have 35 grams of fats. But like I said, I love having a big, big breakfast because um, obviously like I train faster, so that's meant to refuel me and help me start my day. I have a bunch of clients today, errands to run, lots of shit to do. So I need to make sure that like I'm filled well. So um, pretty much I had two English muffins, 140 grams of like liquid egg whites, 18 grams of the Biscoff spread and then 30 grams of ham, which is like three small pieces. So to most people that may seem like a big meal, super filling. Um, and I thought it was super filling <laughs> and I like put it in. I'm like, yes, I'm going to be so full after this. It's going to be great. But I'm freaking it's still hungry. But you know what? It is what it is. This is what the like reverse diet life is. It kind of really sucks. But Anyways, that was my first meal of the day and I will see you later for my next meal. Just finished training my first batch of clients, so I'm gonna eat my second meal before I go for my curry appointment. So I have some barramundi fish, basmati rice, 
and Brussels sprouts for my second meal. And I'm also going to be adding some kimchi. That meal was delicious and only 245 calories. So, alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a confession. I do not track the kimchi because kimchi is like pretty low in calories, and then I'm in my off season, so I do not weigh them. I just kind of scoop it out a little bit. But I did definitely track the barramundi Brussels sprouts and the basmati rice. So that comes to 26 grams of carbs. 3 fat and 25 protein. So again, this is a very, very good split for me. A little bit low on the carbs, but that's okay because my first um, meal obviously was like a little bit higher carb. So that's totally fine. So that was my second meal of the day. And I'm going to head off to Kai right now. Jeremy is officially an influencer because she just got sent some free clothes. My fiance is officially a model. Model life. Model life gets sent some free stuff. Show everyone what free stuff is. It's actually pretty nice. Is it Excel? So, a little bit. This is a new brand called Trust the Process. Do you want to give them a little the shout out? The material is hell good, eh? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, the material is very, very good. That's in fit. Um, but this is Excel. A little bit worried that if I gain five more kilos, I might not be able to fit it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Kind of, yeah, got white shirt as well. Two free shirts. Damn, son. Got my adjustments and oh, I feel so good. My neck was feeling a little bit stiff, um, but I always feel so much better. So I still go to a Cairo and I go to a Cairo weekly. I visit the Gorilla Cairo down in South Perth. Highly recommend. I am sponsored by them, so hence I go weekly and it's a freaking amazing. They are freaking amazing. And I cannot wait till the day I can actually compete so that I can actually finally rep them. But yes, they've been so amazing to me. So if any of you do need a Cairo, I highly recommend going to them. Anyways, I'm going to get some drive through coffee now. My camera keeps falling. Can I get an ice long black, please? Long black? Yeah. Ice long black? Yeah. <laughs> Generally feel like a pretty energized after my adjustment, but I'm just feeling pretty tired today, to be honest. And I still have more clients, so I'm grabbing a coffee. I'm just having a long black, a ice long black, because it's kind of hot right now. So. Thank you. How amazing is freaking drive through? I am attempting to make some protein pancakes. This is a new recipe that I'm trialing out literally for the first time. All I have in there is some oats, egg whites, protein, and a little bit of YoPro. So usually the secret ingredient is baking powder, which I'm all out of. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna attempt to make some pancakes. So we got a good amount of volume. They're kind of flat and sad, and obviously some of them didn't turn out very well, but you know what? I taste it a little bit and it does taste good. So, pancakes. And I'm going to top them with some sugar-free chocolate syrup and some sugar-free maple syrup. Mm -mm -mm. That meal was 311 calories, so let's see how much what the macro split is. So 28 carbs, so pretty low carb for pancakes, three fats, so super low in fats, and 39 protein. So pretty high on protein um taste wise wasn't the best um consistency wise kind of weird as well no, actually taste wise it was okay 
Um, but yeah, consistency wise, not the best. Not the best pancakes that I've had. I also normally have waffles. I don't really have protein pancakes that often. Um, normally I use my Kodiak cake mix that I get from Costco, um, but that's like, yeah, like 30 grams of carbs and like lower on protein. So the macro split, um, making it myself was much better. Um, but yeah, it's pretty average. I will probably might not make it again. Not sure. <laughs> it also depends. Like it's a bit time consuming making pancakes, having to flip them and stuff. So like I said, I normally do my waffles. And if you go back to my old video, I do like a zero carb waffle. Um, but definitely, definitely need baking powder for that, which I did not have today. So maybe next time if I had baking powder, that would have turned out a little bit better, better consistency, but it was just kind of flat and like kind of like eggy. So, um, but I guess if you're deep in prep, that would be quite satisfying. And to be honest, I'm not crazy hungry after that meal. So it was a pretty satisfying meal. It wasn't the most enjoyable meal that I've had today, but it was okay. Very average. <laughs> All my work is done for today. I'm so exhausted and I'm also so hungry. So I'm gonna eat my last meal. I still have like a little bit of a dessert later, but this is my last meal of the day. This is what I'm having. So this is just turkey breast and I have basmati rice and then of course Brussels sprouts. This is the Asian um, sambal. And then I have a little bit of um, fat-free mayo in the top. And again, a little bit of kimchi for that gut health. It is a sad time. I am officially out of macros. The last thing I'm going to be having today is this Fro-Pro single. So it's 150 calories. The macros are 5.5 protein, 8.4 fat, and 13 grams of carbs. So that's the last thing I'll be having for today. I am very sad. <laughs> But maybe I'll go to sleep early and then tomorrow will come quicker and then it's breakfast time again. So, yep, that is that reverse diet life. It is not fun. But thank you for following me along my full day of eating. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, please like the video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.